one of the great places traditionally go bowling. A lot of folks here in Southeast Texas certainly do. And when they want to go bowling, they head out to uh, visit the folks here in Beaumont and check in with Mark Williams and his crew. In fact, that's exactly what James Ware is doing this morning. We are, Dan, and uh, we're at Crossroads Bowling talking with Mark Williams, a Hall of Fame bowler inducted into the Hall of Fame back in 1999 after a very successful lot of years on the PBA Tour. 20, 20 years. 20 years. Wow. Now has Crossroads Bowling Center, 40 lanes out here, and he's given us all access today. And what are we doing here, Mark? This is getting the uh, lanes oiled, I know. That's about all I know. Yes, it is. This machine actually sprays a cleaner out the front, vacuums it up in the middle, and oils on the rear. And there's a variety. There's an amateur oil, there's a pro oil, and describe the difference because the amateurs want the, the pros, it's more slick, I take it? Yeah, the pros are more slick, the, the oil's more evenly spread out on the lane. For our league bowlers, we put a lot of oil in the middle, dryer on the outside, which is legal by USBC specifications just to make their day a little more enjoyable and make their scores a little bit higher. Yeah. Let's go to the back. He's going to give us access. This is somewhere that most people don't just get to go every day. In fact, it's they don't want anyone back here because of the dangers of it. But, I mean, this is where it all happens, the magic of the pins. And, uh, you know, the automated pin system came along in 1952. Before that, I mean, guys were back here manually setting these pins up and getting ready for this moment. Yes, they were. Uh, one of the jobs my dad You know, it's, a, it's pretty amazing how the machine has actually changed so little for the years. Right. Well, that's what I was going to say. This is still the same technology that was on tour when you were there, and it hadn't changed much since 1952. That's true. You know, it's, uh, uh, I want to say 1958, Village Lane's open, and those two seconds are still running, so these things do go forever. Can you make it happen now? And uh, let's. Oh, he's going to roll a ball for us. Justin, come on back here, and he's going to come around front. All right, Mark's going to roll the ball, show the pins going down. Hey, come on back here, Justin. So what's he doing, Mark? It's starting to sort the pins, getting them ready to be lined up in the pin yeah, pin system. Pin whip, turn around this turn around pin here, but first up to the when all the pins get up in the turret basket, they'll fall into the machine. And we'll have another set of two uh, ten pins ready to go. Huh. So this device here, it actually makes them all go in. But yeah. first is what you pan right here, no matter which way they're coming up, they're gonna go up on the first. That's the way they have to go into the basket. Now we have all ten pins in, they're ready to go again. Man, oh man. And back before the day, it all started with wooden bowling balls. This dates way back uh, in history. That's what they started yeah. with. Yes, it does. Way back before my time, I've seen a wooden ball before. <laughs> they used to have two holes in it. I use a bowling ball with four holes now, so things have really evolved. But, uh, they had wooden bowling balls. They finally went to rubber, uh, eventually to plastic. And then in the 80s, they went to urethane. And, uh, that's, uh, urethane's been the norm for over 30 years now. Yeah. All right, I'm an amateur, and I'm a little nervous about our next segment, Dan, but uh, Mark is going to give me a uh, lesson, teach me how to throw a hook, coming up a little later in the show. All right, we'll look forward to that. Do you realize Dana Malasa is you know, the jealousy level just ratcheted up when he was standing there? We'll have to, because that's his lifelong dream. He admitted it when the day began. He always wanted to work at the bowling alley. It's 26 past the hour of 8 o'clock. Who knows? Now maybe you can get... A job, at least a summer job. Go with Mark. All right, coming up next, we're going to find out what's going on this morning with you. We'll check out our Facebook question of the day.